For this lesson, we will be dividing rational numbers, and we're talking about fractions. So notice, we are going to have some positives and some negatives, so we need to remember if the signs are different, then it's a negative. If the signs are the same, then this answer actually is a positive. Before we start dividing, let's look at this rule that we must remember. So our division rule, if you have 3 fourths divided by 1 half, before we can work a division problem, we must rewrite it as a multiplication problem. So you keep the first number, you change the division sign to a multiplication sign, and you write the reciprocal of the second number. So it's keep, change, and flip. And now I see that I can go ahead and I can simplify my four and my two. I'm gonna divide both of those by two. And three times one is equal to three. Two times one is equal to two. And our answer is one and one half. All right, well, let's go to some of the problems that have negatives and positives. It's no big deal. We just have to remember the sign in the end. So I'm going to keep, change the sign, and flip. I like to write that up there to remind me. KCF, keep, change, flip. So it's a negative one-fifth. Change the sign to multiplication. Flip and write the reciprocal always, always, just of the whatever is after your division symbol. So now I'm checking, can I simplify before I multiply? And the answer there is no. So I end up with a negative 4 over 35, 4 35ths. And I cannot simplify that, so that is my final answer. All right, going to the next one. Again, I have a negative and I have a positive, so I know my answer is going to be negative. Let's write K, C, F, so we remember what to do. So I am keeping my one half, changing the sign to multiplication, and writing the reciprocal when I flip. So now I am looking at what's across here, and I see I can simplify before I multiply, so I'm going to divide two by two is one, four divided by two is two. And now when I multiply straight across, I get a negative two fifths. And that is in simplest terms. So we're finished. Well, looking at number three, I see I have two negatives. So here's me remi reminding myself, my answer is actually gonna be positive. So I'm gonna keep, change, and flip. So I'm keeping the nine fifths, negative nine fifths, changing the sign, and I am going to flip the negative two. Remember, it's over one, so it's going to be a negative one over two. Again, I cross anything off and I can't see it, doesn't matter because I know my answer is going to be positive. And I can simplify before I multiply. So 9 times 1 is 9, and 5 times 2 is 10. And since they were both negative, our answer is going to be positive. And our last problem. I see that they are not in fraction form. We must have these in fraction form before we can even worry about keep, change, and flipping. So I'm writing a negative, and two times one is two plus one, so we have a negative three halves. Notice I'm not doing anything yet. A division sign. And now this is negative, so I'm putting my negative symbol there. And seven times one is seven, plus three is 10 sevenths. So while, now that I'm seeing this, and I see I have two fractions in front of me, now I will keep change and flip. I do not try to do more than one step at a time. That's where mistakes are made. So this is negative three halves times, remember, we have to flip this sign. It's seven tenths. 
And I'm looking, three and 10 don't have any factors in common. I can't do anything. Two and seven don't have any factors in common. So I'm just going to multiply straight across and I end up with three times seven is 21. Two times 10 is 20. And again, they're both negative, so my answer is positive, and I don't even have to put that positive. And if I could leave, I can leave that, it's in simplest terms, but the best way that they probably would prefer that you write it is a mixed number now, one and one twentieth. But either of these answers would be correct. If this video was helpful to you today, please add a like, Comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more Math with Marsha. See you again soon.